Hi everybody, this is Venk with Always On EM. As you know, I'm in Vegas scouting out interesting research. I happened upon Rachel. I'm really excited to introduce you. Rachel, do you mind sharing a little bit about who you are and introduce us to your work? Sure, yeah, happy to be here. Um, so I'm Rachel Heron. I'm one of the residents at OHSU in Portland, Oregon. And I'm specifically involved with a project that was looking to see if we can improve time of antibiotic delivery to patients, pediatric patients specifically, with possible sepsis. So as you may know, when we give antibiotics to or any meds to pediatric patients, we order these meds by weight-based dosing. And so unlike in adult patients where you have ready set doses that are available in your own unit, for pediatric patients, oftentimes this means that medicines need to be sent to central pharmacy. And specifically, we were focusing on patients with possible sepsis where time of antibiotic delivery to patients is crucial in terms of improving their outcomes. So what we were trying to investigate was, is it possible for us to improve time from antibiotic delivery order and delivery to patients by trying to install a new intervention, specifically working with our pediatric nurses to help them learn how to reconstitute medicines themselves. Prior to this intervention, the way that our method worked was a patient arrives, the physician team sees the patient, decide that they need antibiotics, order those antibiotics. The order then has to be received in central pharmacy, where a central pharmacy then mixes those based on the patient's weight, reconstitutes the antibiotics, sends it back to the ER via a pneumatic tube system. The nurse then gets it from the pneumatic tube system and takes it to the bedside to administer. All of those have multiple steps where it can take a while, there's room for extra delays in time of antibiotic order to delivery. So what we were wondering is, is it possible to speed this process up, process up by teaching our pediatric nurses how to do this reconstitution step themselves on unit so we can cut out the whole need for a central pharmacy? What we did is, starting with our baseline period, we collected data pre-intervention from July of 2022 through September of 2023. We then started the intervention with our pediatric nurses in our peds ER, specifically trained to reconstitute meds on the unit, and started collecting data from September of last year, 2023, and this is currently ongoing. And what we found, specifically looking at time of antibiotic order to administration to the patient, is that we had an improvement with this intervention. Specifically, initially the average was about 61 minutes from time of order to administration, and with this intervention we were able to cut down by over 10 minutes, down to 49 minutes, which is within goal, ideally, getting yeah. kids antibiotics within an hour. We also looked at, is there, does this improve overall time zero, like patient arrival in the department, recognition of possible sepsis, to antibiotic administration, and again we saw a decrease in time of how long this took. Overall, I think we are very encouraged by these results that potentially this is a way to help better serve our pediatric patients whose greatest threat to morbidity and mortality is sepsis and would be a, definitely need some continued work to see if this can play out in other hospitals and if the data holds up as we ongo and collect more information, but is a, a promising and optimistic look. That's really great. Yeah. I, and the amount of data you've collected and the teamwork that you all are doing. It's really wonderful. I applaud you. Thanks. Um, thanks so much for taking the time to share it. Yeah, of and course. congratulations to you and your whole team. And thanks. Enjoy Las Vegas. Thank you very much. You too.